way and to go. It's all right. Have you been eating these all morning? All full? No? What do you mean no? Our goats don't mind the day after a big windstorm. They get this nice big pile of evergreen branches to nibble on. Actually, today, indigo. Today, I mostly wanted to talk about the chickens. We're going to need to use our Mini Cooper mobile chicken coop as a grow out area for our new baby chickens here pretty soon. Because the chickens that we had been keeping in here had started getting out of this fenced area, we decided to go ahead and move all of those chickens back into our regular chicken coop. It's best to move the chickens at night because they're a little more docile. Plus, it's just a lot easier to catch them at that time of the day. I decided to move them just after the sun went down, but, but while we still had a little bit of light just for the camera. You're a good chicken. It's okay. It's okay, Mr. Wally Wiggins. Looks like Wally Wiggins is challenging one of our larger roosters. Wally is so smaller, so much smaller that that's not the wisest thing to do, Wally. Good chicken. Coming without complaint at all. Right. <laughs> 
when we first moved those chickens out to the mobile chicken coop, we clipped their wings. It doesn't hurt the chickens. We just cut through some of the feathers, but those feathers do grow back. And when that happens, they're able to fly up and out of that fenced area. You know, for the most part, the chickens stayed put, but some of them did get out from time to time. And around here, we've got a lot of raccoons and coyotes and this area here is just much more secure for the chickens. We could have just reclipped their wings and kept them out there. But like I said, we're gonna need that space for our baby chickens. They're gonna need a space to have a chance to get a little bigger, a little better able to defend themselves before we integrate them here with the regular flock. The pecking order can be a little severe sometimes. Just after moving the chickens back in here, several of our chickens started digging a hole just inside the door. I don't know if it was a coincidence or if it had something to do with stress at having their pecking order disrupted. Maybe somebody out there can leave a comment below if you've noticed this kind of behavior. It's normal and healthy for chickens to dig, dig around in the ground looking for bugs, but they are going pretty deep. Actually, now that they've done their work, you can see how when I built this chicken run, I buried large timber planks well below ground as a deterrent to predators. At this point, it's making it harder for me to walk in and out of this door. So I'm just gonna fill it in. Look out, chickens. Look out. There is no escape, chickens. You can't tunnel your way to freedom. <laughs> 